Hello. <laughs> well, hello again. Long time no see, right? It's been a while. It's been a long time. So we have been gone a minute. I think it was October we last put a video out. So that's a, a long ass time ago. Um, we've picked up the camera a couple of times, haven't we, to try and like film. But it's never really quite worked. We've never really liked what we've done. Um, but today we thought it's Sunday, it's chill day, we're just hanging out, so why not pick up and get back into practice again? Um, what have we been up to? Lots of things have changed since we last met each other. We moved out our parents' houses into this house. Yes, which we moved we're out. only filming like the whole moving process, but we kind of forgot. To be honest, if anyone has moved house or moved into their first place together, like you know, it's just hectic and it takes a little bit of getting used to, a little bit of settling in. Um, but we're here, so we've got our own little flat in Glasgow now, which is great. Um, we've been in here since November, so just after the Copenhagen vlog, actually, we moved into this flat, so we've been here since then. What else have we done? Nothing. <laughs> Most of the videos that I've been watching recently are vlogs, um, so. It's made me get the bug again and I thought, what are we doing? Why are we not doing this? We love doing it so much. There's a sm small number of people who <laughs> love watching us, people commenting, asking for more videos. People have been asking us in person, yeah. when are we going to film some more stuff? So here we are, we're here today. Um, it's Sunday, I was going to say it's Sunday morning, but it's definitely not Sunday morning. It's, it's Sunday afternoon. It's definitely now. Sunday afternoon. And we haven't eaten anything yet today, so the no, plan today is what? A basic Sunday for us. Go and get food and then go to the shops and get whatever we need and just chill out. Yeah. Because we're off work. Yeah. So we're going to go, there's a little place that we really like down the road for coffee, but we've never actually been for breakfast or brunch. So we're going to go there today for some Sunday munching and then we're just going to hang out. So before we go out, I thought I would do a little OOTD for you, so let me just pop the camera. So, this is our hallway, this is where I take all my Instagram pictures. <laughs> um, so, today, it's Sunday, right, so I'm just going kind of Sunday cash. In my head I've got these little sun specs. Um, I actually got these yesterday from PMAC, I think they're like two pounds or something. Bag and bucket. Um, these earrings are from Primark. This necklace is from Primark. My rings are actually also from Primark. <laughs> um, but I'm a Primark queen. The t-shirt I've got on is from... I think it's actually from Misguided. It's like a kind of oversized white t-shirt and on the back... It says basic bitch. Um, I've got these Topshop kind of cropped frayed bottom jeans on. Um, my socks are little tube socks, they say be kind and they're from Monkey and my shoes, I've just got on my Reebok Classics. I got these for Christmas and I wear them all the time, they go with absolutely everything so that's today's outfit. Right, breakfast time, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you looking for? Some sort of tripod we don't have. Sick. <laughs> selfie stick. Pocket selfie stick. <laughs> what about colouring in things? These shops sell the weirdest things, look. Tonic water. Super soakers. We can get super soakers. <gasps> water balloons. It throws the water balloons for you, like this. Let's do it. Let's not do it for 20 pounds, that's ridiculous. Water bomb bucket. A whole bucket of water balloons and floaties, like a noodle. I use them for these sort of things. What about the best of the mind for that? Can we go up there? Neighbourhood watch. Oh, I keep up my sock. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be going to bed like but thinking this one was closed down so you'd be safe but this one would be in my sock. I don't know when my sock's going to bed but I just think one night I'll just... I'm not going to lie, this is quite cheap. This one's £16. That's almost as big as you. It's like waiting on you coming in for work. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think it's like a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Guns. Legitimately thinking of buying this sniper. I just don't know what the use of it would be. It's in the house, bro. I need to get you here now, it's getting a bit weird. Put this in a group chat to see if all my files were on board with it, because you said it was a waste of money. Um, and everyone thinks it's a good idea, obviously, my friends, so I'll get it. This is what it's coming to. So this has turned into somehow... You're kidding them have a child because they're buying toys. No, we're not even kidding them have a child. We're just buying a bloody sniper. <laughs> yeah, we need to get the... Yeah. We need to go and line and buy uh, loads of bullets as well. You can get 100 for a fiver, so... Sorted. Sorted. So we are back home now. But now as you can hear in the background is David opening his sniper that he bought at the shops. No, I'm not joking. Are you serious? Is it easy to manoeuvre or difficult? No, it's fine. So I think now we're home, we're just going to have a tidy up a wee bit. We're just going to tidy up a bit and then um, I think we do want to repot our plants. Because, like David said earlier, we've become a wee bit green fingered since we moved into the new flat. So, we've got a couple of house plants. Well, I say a couple, we've actually got about 20, 20 house plants. Um, maybe actually, when I'm repotting them, we can show you them all and explain where we got them and how they're, how they're getting on in their life in the flat in the Galbraith and Breen household. Then we were just talking at breakfast there and I know we've just been out for breakfast so it's really naughty but I think we're going to go out for dinner as well. There's an Indian down the street here that everyone talks about and we've never been to it yet which is strange for us because we both really like it in food so I think we're going to go there like later on for dinner and we also need to go for a food shop as well. And so I need to turn into one of those days where your lift just never ends. Do you know those days? Excuse the washing, messy, messy, and this little food bag here. It's ready to go out to the bin. Oh! 
You get quite good aim, by the way. I know. I'm getting good aim before I get hurt. So maybe if anybody wanted when we've done this vlog and posted it, um, obviously we've moved into the flat and nobody's really seen the flat. Um, apart from maybe if you follow us on Instagram, you'll have seen like it in the background. So I thought maybe we could do another video later on. We could maybe show you around. It's not like the nicest looking flat ever, but I think we've done quite well with it. It's messy today though, so today's not the day for a flat tour. <laughs> because Anna's the most boring thing in the world. What else is this to catch you up on? So the last time we filmed was when we went to Copenhagen. So obviously that was time ago. We have just been in the flat, just getting things sorted. Obviously we said earlier that this is our first place together. Um, we've been together like as a couple for like nine years. We always forget because it's been so long. Um, nine years and we just moved in together. Sorry. We just moved in together in November there. So we've just been kind of going through all that. Um, and being here. And yeah, I don't know. I didn't feel like we were interior designing enough to film our decor and us getting the flat sorted and things like that. Um, the decor is very us, like it's quite bright and colourful but nothing really matches <laughs> and it's kind of, I would say it's kind of Scandi inspired. We were really inspired when we went to Copenhagen um, and I think that kind of ran through into the things that we picked for the flat but it's kind of a mishmash of some bits are, are like very David and some bits are very me and some bits are us. Um, so yeah, we didn't feel like we were interior designing enough to like film a whole series on us decorating the flat or anything like that. So that's why, and obviously because we moved into the flat, we haven't really been any amazing trips or anything. Um, I have been to Spain, I was in a hen party, we went to Magaluf and I've been to Germany to visit my friend who's doing a PhD there. But apart from that, we haven't really been anywhere that we thought was worth filming. Um, David has filmed a lot of his car stuff. Um, you may or may not know David's super into cars. And he has a little media page called Ichiban Media, which he does a lot of work on still, but on this channel we haven't really done anything. so. We wanted to get back into it. Here we are. Um, we've actually got a really exciting trip coming up. We're going to New York City in September, which is really cool. Um, I have been to New York before. I went with my mum and dad. I was supposed to be in this sheet, but whatever. I went with my mum and dad when I was 16, so about 10 years ago. Um, and it was great, but I was with my parents. I was a teenager, so it would be nice, I think, to go back with him and to kind of do New York City our own way. So we're going there in September. Um, so we're staying in a place called Williamsburg, which is in Brooklyn, and I'm so excited. Um, I stayed in Manhattan when I went with my parents, but this time David and I really wanted to stay in Brooklyn because we felt like Brooklyn was more kind of our vibe. So we've got an Airbnb there. Um, the people who have our Airbnb are two interior designers and it's been converted to like a loft conversion so I'm so excited for that. Um, so yeah, I guess if anyone has any recommendations of things to do in New York City, we're there for a whole week so we've got lots of time to play with. We thought we would kind of do 
the first couple of days doing all the touristy things because obviously Dave has not seen anything of New York. He's never been to America before. And then we thought the rest of the week we would just try and kind of fit in. When we travel, when we do city breaks, our favourite way to do it is to try and kind of just blend in with the locals and live like a local. So that's what we're hoping to do in New York as well. So any recommendations or anything that any of you might have would be very greatly appreciated. But yeah, that's not until September, so we don't have a whole lot going on up until then. Actually, that's a lie. We have stuff going on every weekend up all the up until we go. Um, but it's just family things. So David's brother is turning 30 this year. His birthday is next month. So we've got a couple of um, family things arranged for that. Yeah, my friend's getting married in July. She's getting married in two weeks, three weeks now, which is really exciting. She's my first friend to get married. So that's super exciting. So we've got bits and bobs happening, but we're not got any trips planned, which is really unusual for us because we are at least two holidays a year kind of people. <laughs> We love to travel, we love to see the world, we love to just clock out and, and see somewhere and relax for a period of time, but we haven't been able to do that because we have this place. So, yeah, I'll get back to iron on my sheet just now. I just wanted to chat to y'all and fill you in a bit on where we've been. Um, so yeah, let's go on with Sunday, shall we? <laughs> So it's a couple of hours later now, we've just been doing like a big clean. We've hoovered, dusted, mopped, changed the bed, cleaned the bathroom, all that good stuff. So in our living room we have this huge big storage cupboard which is great. But what it means is that when we moved in we just filled it with rubbish. So... <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, we decided that today's task is to go through the stuff in that cupboard and try and find a place for it because it's getting to the point now where we try and take things out of the cupboard and everything else that's in the cupboard falls down, or collapses or is tangled and it's just really frustrating. So that's what we're doing this night, but I think this is going to be one of those jobs that you start and then you wonder, oh, why did we start this today? So excuse the absolute mess, but this is what we're doing. Oh, that's another government bag. <laughs> Mine now. And this chair is a set of four. And we were given these by David's cousin when we moved into the flat, but we only need the table and two chairs. So we have two spare, so they're in this cupboard just now. As well as this table and chairs here, which was here when we got here, but I mean, that's just hellish, so that's in the cupboard. And then up here, Obviously we have a travelling rucksack. Up over here we've got four aiders for some reason. There was one here when we moved in and then we bought a bigger one and then we've acquired a, an, another couple. There's, we've got two ironing boards because we bought one before we moved in because we didn't realise we were going to have one. We've got an iron there which is a spear, an iron down there which is ours. Up here we've got a spare duvet just in case. And we've got like all this, this is miscellaneous junk that I have no idea. I mean, laptops, random candles, I think like some phone, a tablet, a keyboard. And under here is our um, skiing snowboards and helmets and like paint and stuff like that. Yeah, and then obviously there's all the wrapping paper from Christmas time. So... New cupboard. Ta da! That looks a bit better. So we've organised all of this. Just got one iron here now. Still two boards, so we organise everything that was under here. Nice tidy shelves. Don't look up there. So now we need to take all that stuff to the dump. We had a look to see. I've actually got some clothes that I've been meaning to take to the charity as well. And they was just said that you can take that to a clothes bank that's up near beside where the dump is. So we can take all the rubbish and then I can take the clothes for charity. But I'll just take them to the clothes bank instead, which is quite nice. It means that somebody still gets them. Finished with the tip. Successful tip trip. And 
Now back home to these bloody plants. survive and I thought it couldn't but since we repotted it it's grown this little extra piece here and there's a wee little dude in there grown too and then I got these succulents to grow David got me these for my Christmas little seeds so I'm growing these wee succulents <clears throat> just now too and they're coming along quite nice and then this spider plant and this plant here um, a nice lady at my work gave to me actually she gave me cuttings from the spider plant and she gave me this plant here and we have this big guy, he's doing really well but he's got some brown leaves. I think that's from overwatering though rather than underwatering. And then we've got this little guy, we don't know what this is at all but he's kind of bushy and like a palm tree so we just gave him all some clean soil and we're doing it out the front of the flat. And everybody's walking past and looking at us, we're like ground for This is only half the plants as well. We just back from dinner. We forgot to vlog dinner. Last thing I think you saw was us doing our <laughs> doing our plants. Um, so yeah, I guess just thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll be back soon with another video. If you liked to Sunday with us, um, give us a thumbs up and please comment if you if you like it and let us know. What kind of things you want to see from us? We're open to all the suggestions. Mm -hmm. Anything we could do differently or better or any ideas you have, just comment them below. Yep. So we're going to go and chill and just spend the rest of our Sunday just watching a film or something, getting ready for work tomorrow. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.